uh, John Keith there on what turned out to be a pretty rainy morning in Dallas. But that's all right. Skies have cleared up a little bit and the vlog's got to go on. So if you own a 2008 to a 2014 model Cascadia, you've probably already dealt with a complete hood pivot bracket failure or you're about to. And you'll know it when you try to open that hood and it almost falls off and hits the ground. So in this episode of Jam and Our Body Works, we're going to show you the proper way to repair that. Uh, do's and don'ts and the wrong things that we've seen in the past and remember if you like it hit those thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and come ride shotgun on this big world of heavy duty truck repair hi guys so here we are same day same rain clouds, different shirt. Yep, I got stuck in it. it didn't last very long. Anyway, uh, here's the hood we just pulled off this Cascadia. It's a 2012 model. It did have a complete hood bracket separation as you can hopefully see in this video. And that white stuff since you get there, that's pretty much called a uh, atmospheric corrosion. That's what you get when oxygen uh, works its way underneath the panel and, and meets up that raw aluminum and it forms that milky powder. Now to fix it, we're gonna grind all that stuff off there to back to the raw aluminum. We're gonna apply a Ursa glue, an IRSA, that stands for Impact Resistant Structural Adhesive. And then we're gonna add the bolt and rivet kit like you do in all the 2015 and newer model Cascadias. And that's gonna keep this thing from breaking again. Now we're not gonna do one side, which is common for repair shops. We're actually gonna do both sides. That way, a uh, month from now or two months from now, the other side doesn't pop off and my customer's calling me angry that now the other side's broken. Since corrosion is such an important subject matter in this industry, be sure to watch for a future video where we'll discuss in detail the differences between atmospheric corrosion, oxidation, galvanic corrosion, and even rust. 